Welcome to our presentation. Firstly, we will focus on the main issue and state the market opportunities. Then, we will pitch our solution, the traction we want to develop, the way it is intended to work, and state the clear benefits to all stakeholders. So what is the problem? Drivers are traveling from and to the university with empty seats in their car. This means there are more cars on the roads, which means more traffic. Traffic congestion during rush hour is a growing problem around campus as the alternative methods of transportation such as taxis and buses are being affected by this. Buses are rarely on time and are usually packed during peak times, forcing people to remain standing for some time longer than an hour. More than 80% of students are unsatisfied with the transport facilities which are currently in place around the university. Students and staff are facing a major trade-off. The prices of the different ways of transport varies considerably. For instance, if a student wishes to go from the university to Leamington, by taxi it usually takes between 15 to 20 minutes and costs between 20 to 25 pounds per ride. In other words, if you fill up a five-seater cab, which is however not guaranteed, it comes to five pounds per person. Whereas a bus ride costs around two to 2.7 pounds, but can take up to more than twice the time, so more or less 30 minutes. And by car, it takes about the same time as a taxi, so 15 to 20 minutes, but only costs around 80 to one pound. Having a car is cost effective in the short term if only fuel costs are being taken into account. However, in the long run, other costs including maintenance and depreciation are expected. We have come up with a solution, Warwick Ride. We are a carpooling company designed exclusively for Warwick students and staff, offering its services within the university and the campuses surrounding towns, Leamington Spa, Coventry and Kenilworth. Car sharing is an existing concept around the world and at the university as well. We usually share cars with our friends or family, but very often we drive alone in an empty car as we don't know anyone who needs a lift. And this is where we come in. We provide an organized carpooling service which puts students and staff traveling in a similar direction in contact. There are some great opportunities here. We provide the perfect mix of comfort, speed and safety to our clients and help our drivers earn money while saving on fuel and parking costs. Our service would be beneficial for the students and staff of Warwick University as sharing a car is, one, more profitable than any other means of transportation, apart from bus, two, not only lowers the cost of traveling by car alone, but our drivers will be earning money, and three, brings people together and hence can be a great way to network. But it would also be beneficial for the university itself, as it would significantly reduce the number of students who do not make it to their lectures and seminars, and it could solve parking problems. It would also help protect the environment as it reduces congestion and pollution. We have conducted a survey which showed that approximately 30% of the students living off campus, second and third years and postgraduates, have a car and 90% of them would be willing to use it in order to earn some extra money. There are 2,300 potential drivers in Leamington, 1,150 in Coventry and 400 in Kenilworth. To increase the accuracy of these provisions, we have estimated that around 75% of the students with cars would be willing to use them to drive other people. Now, estimating that only half of the potential drivers would use the company every day, the gross profit, after the drivers have been paid, would amount to £7,385 per day, which makes £974,820 a year for the company. We have calculated these profits, taking into account the reduction of the amount of customers on the weekends, as well as the third university term. Furthermore, additional income is expected to be generated by ads on the app through our partnership with Google AdWords. The company will require initial investments for the creation of the app and of the website. The starting cost was total £15,500, around £10,500 for the app design and £5,000 are estimated for the website design. The company will also require advertising on Facebook and Google AdWords, which will cost approximately £50 per day. As an incentive for students to drive people around, we will repay them the gas they used on their journeys at the end of the month. That will be another expense of the company, which will be around £68,280 per month. The ongoing cost of the company will include the salary of the employees, which will add up to around £16,247 per month. We posted our application description on www.elance.com in order to make an accurate approximation of the app costs. We received 48 applicants, out of which a half were companies and the other freelancers. We calculated the mean price of all bids made by IT and web development companies and it mounted up to $15,000, which equals around £10,400. We conducted a survey of a 63 sample size. The overall results were positive. 95% out of the respondents would be keen to be hired as drivers at our company. 
Around 35% of the respondents already own a car or are considering getting one during the course of their studies. On top of this, 85% of the respondents were interested in an efficient carpooling service on campus. This shows that there would be a very high demand once the system is implemented. Out of the 65% of respondents who do not own a car, 85% said would use our service as customers and 10% were not too sure. In terms of price, the answers range between £1 and £15 with a mean of £4.36. So how does it all work? For our drivers, they will have to register on our platform and sign a contract with us. They will then post their journey and route, time of departure and number of seats available in their car onto our app and wait for other students or staff to reserve their seats. When a driver cancels a ride, he gets fined. Each driver gets reviewed and rated by our customers, so anyone who has more than five negative reviews and have under three stars can no longer work with us. These two last aspects work similarly to an already established world-renowned company known as Uber. The driver's paycheck is based on the revenues generated during a week time. How does it work for our customers? Students, academics and university staff can sign up on our app for free. Our platform consists of an interactive map which shows the routes that previous drivers have used so that the customers has to simply select their desired routes and reserve their seats. We also offer the possibility for customers to send in requests via an online forum and drivers have the opportunity to accept these requests. On top of this, both drivers and passengers can post a short self-introduction, for example their course or interests. This allows for a social experience during the ride where the drivers and passengers can talk about their courses or mutual interests. All payments are made through the app, by card, and the profits work on an 80 over 20 basis, meaning the driver gets 80% of the profit, whereas we receive 20%. If a driver takes more than one passenger in their car, each customer will be paying the same amount. The price is not reduced by the number of seats taken. In average, a journey to or from Leamington would cost £4.4 and a journey to or from Coventry or Kenilworth would cost £3 for a customer. The actual service is based on an app. This is how the app is going to look like. When opening the app, you will first be directed to our homepage. This is where users decide whether they want to join a ride or give a ride. Through the interactive map, customers pick their route, destination and time of departure. As shown on the right, each user has a profile page with information such as a self-introduction, the credits left on their account and their overall rating. Both the clients and the drivers can be reviewed and rated based on punctuality, turn up ratio and overall experience. Users can also discover our service on our online website. They can read about our company, what we do and how it all works. However, bearing in mind that the already existing website www.uwarwickride.wibbly.com is only a prototype, further investments of an estimated £5,000 are expected in order to acquire a proper domain. In the future, we would like to set up an office at Warwick University and set up phone operators so that students can contact us by mail, phone or in person. This would help provide better customer service since people have different preferences of communicating. It could also help customers who do not have smart devices to contact us for any emergency or complaints. For example, if a driver does not show up at the agreed time. On top of this, we plan to expand to other universities so that more students can benefit from our service. We will first research which other universities also have unreliable transportation services, either by conducting surveys to be completed by students and university staff or finding information online. Following this, we will contact the universities to see if they are willing to incorporate our carpooling service and advertise our service for a negotiated fee on their website. We will then test our service at their university in order to examine the overall responsiveness on campus and whether it would be profitable to operate there. We do not intend to expand to locations outside of universities to avoid competing with Uber as we aim to provide a low cost and more sociable alternative for students. As shown on this graphic timeline, we want to start by advertising and launching a beta version of the website and the app in September 2016 in order to fix all the initial problems and bugs associated with the quality of processes. We intend to launch the proper version of the app and website a month later. We will allow ourselves a time spam of a year before re-evaluating the project. Then, if all is going as expected, further expansions to other universities in the UK will be considered. To summarise our presentation, we would like to point out that in order to launch our company, an initial investment of £15,500 would be required, excluding advertising costs, which are estimated at £18,250 per annum. This adds up to £33,750 of investment. It is also worth mentioning that the total gross profit in our expected scenario is estimated to be £974,820. In conclusion, we believe that our service could only be beneficial for the University of Warwick, its students and academics. Proof of potential high demand shows that this is more than a secure investment. To bring Warwick right into practice, we truly hope that further investments and agreements will be made. 
Thank you for watching.